All right, hey, what's up, metalheads? It's me again, Donovan, and uh, I, I'm gonna make this video as quick as possible as I can. So, let's get started. My review is on the uh, the Mayhem Festival 2012 that recently happened back in June 30th, and the tour continued on, I think, until somewhere in August, I want to say. And I went to the very first concert that was held, and it was in uh, San Bernardino, California, which I am close to. I live right. I'm barely like kind of right next door. I mean, I'm in Riverside, California. So this was at the Samuel Well Amphitheater. That was a venue, and the bands that were playing were Anthrax, Motorhead, Slipknot, and Slitter. So you had these four great bands that were playing, and the show was just tremendously awesome. You know, every band delivered just an awesome performance. I was there especially to see Anthrax and Slayer, probably two of the favorite bands that are around, and of course, two of the big four. So, I mean, you know, I wasn't there for those shitty deathcore bands because they could go suck a dick, man. Devil Wars, Prada, fucking Asking Alexandra, those bullshit fucker bands. They could just go to fucking hell. You know, I, I'm, I am still questioning why they're even a part of the tour because they sucked so much ass. They were horrible. And, I mean, I'll give very little credit, I mean, to, uh, to Whitechapel and, uh, as I lay dying because they weren't too bad, but I mean, asking Alexandria, the Devil Wars Prada, upon a burning body, just get the fuck out. So, I mean, but you had High on Fire who couldn't be there, which unfortunately kind of sucked. And anyways, when uh, my my dad and I, we were right in the pit area for the main stage and the Jaeger stage, but uh, we were just going on, looking at the pits going on. You had, uh, I think, like, they had three stages, and one of them was the mobile stage where like the small it was the smallest stage so i mean my dad and i we were in the vip area so we're here in the vip area and as we're right there joey joey from anthrax joey belladonna is being interviewed by revolver tv and so to see him being interviewed right there with no one around him it was just fucking awesome because afterwards he was being interviewed i just went up met the guy i met joey i met joey once again because i actually met anthrax at uh, the 2012 Winter Nam show, which was pretty awesome, everyone was there. So I mean, that's another place I love to be every year. And you know, I met Joey, and he was a real cool guy, man. I was just like, hey, Joey, what's up, man? You know, just glad to see you back with Anthrax. You know, still looking better than ever. And don't take it, don't take that as in gateway. But uh, you know, he was a cool guy. I just acknowledged everything he did. Just told him how much I was a fan of his singing, how much it was awesome for him to be back with Anthrax. So, I mean, just started going off telling him that it was, you know, just all the cool things that was about him. And, you know, he was acknowledging everything I was saying. Just start, he was real appreciative of what I was just telling him. And I just, you know, later on I just told him, hey, hey Joey, can I get a picture with you? And he was like, yeah, man. So, you know, just took a picture and it was just a cool guy, you know. He saw my battle jacket and he signed my, uh, my deal patch. He put right on the um, on the logo. He put the man as referring to the great Ronnie James Dio. So it's a cool guy. Cool that I met him. Actually, but I didn't meet the whole band at the Mayhem Festival at the meet and greet. So I mean, I only met them at the you know the Winter Nam show last year. Second, how the bands that were playing on the main stage? You had uh, you had of course Motorhead, Slayer, and uh, uh, Slipknot. Now, Motorhead was pretty cool. My dad was excited to see them. He was especially he was there to see them uh, play freaking Overkill and Apes of Spades. Now, my dad isn't a metalhead, although he is a musician. But my dad is a huge fan of uh, the song Ace of Spades, so he was pretty aw oh, hopped up when he saw them play that. And of course, he had Slayer, who played all their great set lists. Man, they were playing Angel of Death, Mandatory Suicide. They opened up with Disciple, and it was just fucking awesome. And I thought what was really awesome about their whole performance was that their, uh, the props that they had on stage, I mean, they had the two inverted cross martial stacks and then the pyrotechnics were shooting fire out of them. And it was just awesome, you know, just pure awesomeness. And then, of course, like they always do, they, they close it with, uh, with uh, South of Heaven and then it, at, at the end of that song it goes right into Raining Blood. And, of course, that being their encore, just an awesome performance. And then you had... Slipknot too, who played a really good set list. They, I, they with their image, they went back to the Iowa era. So they were wearing the red jumpsuits. Most of everyone basically had the same, um, 
the the All Hope is Gone mask. Everyone was wearing the mask from All Hope is Gone, except for Clown, who was wearing his original um, Iowa mask back from you know the album Iowa. So oh, and then Sid too. Sid had his old uh, gas mask. So I mean, it was an awesome show. Everyone you know just did an awesome performance, except the deathcore bands. They were they sucked ass, you know. The whole time, I believe, during Asking Alexandria, I was just like, Get off the stage! You fucking suck! Go suck a dick, Danny Warsnop! And everyone's just looking at me like, just kind of mad-dogging me, just telling me, what, what, Why are you doing this? And I'm just like mad-dogging mad dogging them back, just saying, No, fuck you! You know, these bad fu this bad fucking sucks! And the whole time, I was just like, We want fucking anthrax! Get anthrax on the stage! So, I mean, my dad and I were basically in the wave front for Asking, Alex Asking Alexander, but just to see Anthrax. So, I mean, it was really cool that we were there to just see Anthrax. It did fucking awesome throughout the whole tour, and especially that show. And as say, and having said, I mean, when they played, the, um, when the festival was held at the Samuel Wynn Amphitheater, it was considered the biggest mayhem festival in, his, in its history since 2008. I mean, not just for the whole tour dates, but just this one venue had the biggest amount of the crowd. So, all in all, it was just an awesome show. Had a blast. Nothing but headbanging going on over there. Just awesome to see all the other good metalhead guys that were there. All the other metalhead kids that you can never be around. But it was just pretty awesome. So, stay metal. Stay heavy. Keep it metal. <laughs>